what's going on guys so the other day tbs has released a new firmware version this is 1.13 and it's supposed to fix the issue of some of these bricking on people and from what i've been told it's a very small majority uh but if it's going to save your device and still output decent uh it will be worth it to upgrade so let's get into that All right, guys, so if this one seems a little bit rushed and a little bit different than my usual, it's because it kind of is. Um, I am supposed to be on vacation, uh, supposed to be doing stuff around the house and getting stuff done. And uh, I'm out here filming this for you guys because, well, it's kind of necessary. So this is kind of going to be a unedited version of what happens here. So there's going to be, you know, some extra ums and ahs and stuff like that. So there's that but anyway the, the long of the short here is tbs has updated this from the version 1.08 to the 1.13 and the reason for doing that is that some users were having an issue where their unit would brick they would run it for let's say 20 times and then they'd go to turn it on and it just won't turn on uh, this update is supposed to not only fix a quote-unquote bricked unit uh, but it's also supposed to keep that unit from bricking. I guess it's a, a problem in the software and they fixed it. Uh, this video, I'm going to show you what the power output is. So let's go through, check that this, this has been updated and I'll just flash this on the screen quick here. Um, this is, you can clearly see it's on the 1.13 uh, firmware. You can see it is 100% done. So this is a unit that I also tested in my last video, the one that caused a little bit of uproar that wasn't supposed to cause an uproar. It was just somebody was concerned. Uh, well, a lot of somebody's was concerned with the 1.08 firmware and that it somehow decreased the power. And I just I wanted to put that to bed, but somehow it created a tizzy. And that's not what that video was meant to do. Um, there was also some serious math problem uh, issues in it that was that was quite comical. I figured I'd leave them in there for you guys to laugh at, uh, at my expense. Um, yeah, so there's there's that. Uh, but anyway, let's let's turn this guy on. I've got a 20 dB attenuator right here. So let's go ahead into the menu system and change the attenuation to 20. Twenty, and then we're gonna check the channel that it's on here so let's plug this guy in and watch the menu system here what we're doing we're watching this light so that looks like five five okay um, so that is on and, and you guys didn't see that that was damn near close to two watts I'm at 1.76 watts um, I'm gonna unplug that and let this sit for a little bit just so you guys can catch that burst again because as I was fiddly screwing around I think I kind of covered that accidentally and I didn't, I didn't mean to do that I was just making sure that this was on the proper channels and it is it's on uh, if, if you follow the LED, uh, the the amber one will blink once, and then the blue one will blink a succession of times. And I believe it was one blink, then five blinks. That's channel five. And then one, uh, two blinks, then five blinks, I believe that's race. And then three blinks and four. So that's the highest power on race five. And if we look here you can see that it's 5800 megahertz race 5 is 5806 megahertz so we're as close as we're going to get to the readings on this meter uh, so once this is cooled down which this is this is almost back to room temperature and again this is where i say watch the editing hold on one second <laughs> Again, I usually pull this stuff out, so I, I apologize. This is just, I gotta get this video out for you guys. 
So we're gonna check the ambient temperature in here. I'm gonna go with Fahrenheit. So right here, uh, actually, let me go away from the meter here. 64, 6501 is the max temperature there. And if I check the unit right now, it's at 86, 87. So that's why it feels cool to me because 98.6. Yeah, apparently I'm dead or something. <laughs> I am not living. All right, whatever. So 86 degrees, I mean, I think we can all... I think we can all agree that that, that could be a room temperature. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to fire this unit back on, and I'm going to see if I can't put this unit in such a way that you guys can see this as I turn this on. So... Alright, so there we go. One point yeah, that thing spiked up to like what 1.8? Uh we're at 1.6, 1.7. And a lot of this, if I just turn this, yeah, there we go. Look at that. If I just give this just a little bit of twist, so clearly this is gotta be in one of my connections here. Um uh, that uh it is changing the values. Because that thing spiked up to 1.9 for a brief moment. Yeah, see, now it's, now, excuse me, now it's down at 1.2 because I'm screwing with this. And it's getting heating up. But it will spike up to 1.9. So, um, yeah. Uh, I can't test if this is going to fix a unit from breaking. Uh, it, I can, however, test, or you guys can test, if you have a bricked unit, you should be able to plug in and it should see it as a bootloader. Um, so, yeah, this this is jumping all over the place. Let me get it off of this because it's screwing up my readings here. Um, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm letting this heat up. Uh, it should get to about 205C, which I think is 115 something degrees. I, I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, but I just want to make sure it stays at this this one watt. And we're at 150, 155. Um, so there's there's that. I mean, it's clearly one watt. So, again, like I was saying, if you have a bricked unit, plug it in. It should see it as a bootloader, and it, it should update device, the device and allow you to fix it. Um, if... If you have a unit that is performing well and you're not sure if this like that that can't be tested um, at least not with anything that I have if it's gonna save a unit from breaking but to see that the power output jumped to 2 watts um, 1.9 something like that on a unit that had previously put out I believe 1.4 watts max uh, that that video that caused a tizzy I'll link it again right there um, that was this unit. That was this pigtail. That was that was this setup on the 1.08 firmware. So what this tells me is this 1.13 uh, firmware is is good. Uh, update, update. Um, I would even say if you got a unit on 1.07, go ahead and update this because I'm getting the 1.92 that I was getting out of it. Uh, initially on the the 1.07 firmware so for those of you who are wondering yes do it it's it's safe it's good the unit is primo and if that fixes the problem that some of the guys are having some of you guys are having where it bricks units this is a win um thank you tbs thank you not only for this vtx but for standing behind it, fixing it, uh, weeding through everything, and figuring out what, what little was wrong with it. And now we got a, a very usable V. Well, not that we didn't have it, but uh, you know, now we got a go-to VTX. This rocks. So if you enjoyed this video, click that thumbs up button. And if you haven't done it already, go ahead and punch that subscribe button because you only get to do it once and it's fun. And I'll catch you later. Peace. Peace.